Now, what I'm doing now is testing which is the best camera for vlogging. Because I used the Nikon for the Whale Festival and it's got no image stabilization. So I'm looking through the settings, I can see image stabilization and it's blanked off. So I'm thinking, how does that work? But then I, then I hear them look through the, uh, the manual, which was good. That's what you meant to do. And uh, I realised at the same time that if I'm using 4K, it's using the whole sensor. But if I use 1080p, it's got enough room to do some stabilisation. But it's only 1080p. Shame it's not got uh, 2.4. I've got a feeling it's going to be really windy on this microphone. We'll see. But this stabilization of the iPhone is very good. So we're going to take it down onto the wharf and we're going to give it a good go. Now this um, 360 camera is going to be an interesting comparison as well. So we'll see. We'll see which one is the best. Now when I get down to the wharf, I'll get the nick on it, put the iPhone down. But this is just uh, part of the experiment. Well, I know how good the iPhone is, it's very good. But the sound quality is not very good. Um, not as good as the nick on. Even though the microphone's right by my face, it should be good. But, alas, it isn't. But the image stabilisation is very good, as, as you can see. Okay, so I'll get around the corner and I'll, I'll get the nick on out and I'll try that. There we go, we'll go down here. If I go out on the wharf, it'll just be too windy. I won't have a chance. So this will do by here. So you get 14 minutes with 1080p. So uh, this is pretty smooth, but there'll be some bumpies coming up here. So we'll be able to see if it works. Also, it's a good test for the microphone on a windy day. And I turned the the wind noise filter off, so maybe the sound will be maybe better. I'm hoping. I can't really stop the wind noise. That's So it's just a short little trip and the wharf. People having chops. I think it, it looks a lot better on the viewfinder, but we've yet to see what the resolution is like. But certainly the image stability looks a lot better. It was a bit shocking on the Whale Festival. Sorry about that. I think what I'll do now 
I'll just stop. Remember not to put my finger on the microphone. So, uh, what's it going to be like, I wonder? I think the 1080p is going to save the day. Go back and do another 1080p. See what that's like. We might as well go and have a look and see if there's any whales there. While well, we're out and about. This is real bumpy, so we'll be able to see, uh, see what the stabilisation is like. No, that's like on a, on a zoom as well. I might as well do a walk here. Nothing beats the stabilisation of the 360 camera though. It's wobbling around all over the shop. And it'll be smooth as silk. I don't know how they do it. I already know which one it will be, but hopefully the um, Nikon will be good enough. There's a lot of flies around at the moment, flipping flies. Okay, we can put that. Yeah, like that. There we go. And we can, uh, I think we go back into 4K now. Okay, we're back in 4K. She just tried the 1080p with a zoom. Okay, so we're going to make one, a smoothie. One frozen banana. One frozen banana. And one non-frozen banana. Frozen, non-frozen. What have we got here? This is almond milk. Unsweetened. Unsweetened almond milk. Almond. Almond milk. Almond, that's right. Okay. 
Let me bring some next school in there and uh, wheat grass. Spiraling and wheat grass. I'm sorry, I'll take a picture. Don't worry. There we go. That's what's in it. Naked greens. Okay. What next? Next is. Camu 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 Very very high What is it? Vitamin C It's a Chocolate From a tree No Very good for you Ten times more the iron Three times more the oh, I can't read Nice and More vitamin C Than anything Very good for you anyway Right Extremely good for you Okay And that's, just, that's it? That's all that goes in. Okay. That's all that goes in. That's it. That's it. It's down the hatch. Simple. This is for you, Louise. This is how you make mash, okay? So you get all your vegetables, carrots, potatoes, that's all I've got. And you, uh, you soak them in uh, water with vinegar. And that cleans them up, gets all the... And in the meantime then, you put some butter in your pan and fry off some onions. So brown off your onions and prepare all your veggies, which is just, in this case, potatoes and carrots. Right? Simple enough. There you go, now top it up with water and put your veggies in and then you're going to want salt. Put some salt in. There you go. Now just let it uh, boil for say uh, 15 minutes and then we'll mash it up. So there you go, you boil them up and then you just add some butter and mash. We've got some delicious curried pumpkin and corn veggie burgers to go with it.